Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to uh, Pathologic 2. Pathologic 2 is the name of this video game. Uh, and we are in an interesting position right now. So we have no food. We're getting very hungry. We are going to have to either go to a store and buy some food, which we do not have a lot of money to do, or we're going to have to go back into the plagued part of town and try to scavenge for either some food or some money that we can use to buy food. Uh, we do have some immunity. We also have an immunity booster on us. Uh, we also have some Twirine, which is fine. Uh, it also will reveal events, maybe, which it could give us some hints on where to go next. Um, where's there? There's a grocery store here. We're not too far from the tracks, so we can get to the shady shop. I think we're gonna have to take some time out of our day, uh, maybe every time we go back home or something, to just run out to the sort of like the step area, the more wild area, and gather herbs because the uh, the tinctures that we can make from the herbs boost immunity in addition to obviously being valuable for the actual purpose of medicine. Uh, in addition to survival, we also still have to uh, investigate the people on the list, and one of those people we know was locked in the termitary, or at least that's that's what we believe to be the case. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing that we can still do now that the plague has begun. Where was that thought? Oh, unfortunately, I have no idea, and we have so much stuff on our uh, on our Act Two map now. Uh, people. Okay, clicking on Taya does not bring us to the thought uh, that that is relevant to her. Yeah, maybe maybe I missed my opportunity to do that. And it seems like it should still be. Um... Okay, here we go. Yeah, she's in the ter. It says here Taya Taichi is the termitary. That seems unlikely, but she's in there. We can probably still go and do that thing. So I guess let's start by just going into the plagued part of town and looting, because I, th I think we have to, right? Let's go ahead and take the immunity booster. We're just, like, we're desperate. So I will say... Okay, we're already kind of in here. Let's just turn left and try to go into these buildings. Okay, screaming, lots of screaming. Perfectly normal stuff. Where is a door? We probably have to go inside the uh, little fenced area here. There's some chanting. You know, the game's just... It's spooky. It's gonna be spooky. What is this? Apparently not interactable. Which is kind of strange. Okay, here we go. Should be some doors around here. Well, this is pretty dark. I just really, really need food or money. Preferably food, because I don't want to have to go buy food. If we find food, that gives us more looting time. So fortunately, a lot of the stuff that we need to do is kind of in the same part of town. We don't have to go all over the map. Spring, some cash, some more cash. I'm going to go ahead and use our uh, our one needle here. Okay, that was a good use. We got lucky on that one. Okay, we got to ask. We got to act pretty quickly. This poor woman is dead, but she did have a bottle of water. Yes, yeah, so we still need to figure out how to uh, how to get rid of our dead stuff again. It seems like it, it's possible I'm not remembering correctly where the uh, ooh. Let's go ahead and just open this. Possible I'm just not remembering where the dead shop was. Uh, and I guess that's a thing I could have gone and looked up. I could still go and look up. Ooh, very dark in here. Very dark, but also filled with stuff. Yeah, because we have all these broken ampules and stuff. We have, we have things to trade to the dead item guy. Okay, that's the front door. I don't have a ton of time to work with. I'm trying to keep an eye on our hunger meter. My guess is that when we run out of hunger... Ooh, okay. Uh, what is this? Please tell me it's food. Uh, it was an egg. Or we have an egg from something else. I don't remember where we got this egg, but I'm eating it. I'm eating the plague egg. Is it dangerous to eat food that you find in the plagued part of town? I don't. It seems like it should be, right? Uh, but I do want to talk a little bit about the game itself. I, we're okay. We're gonna ignore that. Oh. 
We're gonna just uh, bail out of that whole situation. That person following us? Yep, I'm gonna leave. I'm just gonna not be in this house anymore. Uh, are they gonna follow me outdoors, or...? It doesn't look like it. I probably should have tried to talk to them or something. I had a real moment of panic there. You know, what if that was, like, a manifestation of the idea of the plague? Things are non-literal frequently enough in this game that I think we do have to be wary of stuff like that. Oh. That's a plagued person. I think probably we should try to avoid contact. I know this sounds horrible, but I think we should probably try to avoid contact with plagued people who are not named characters. And it's possible that by treating just random, random nobody NPCs, we could we could limit the spread of the plague. And that's a like a definitely a real concern. But I also just like I don't have a lot of stuff. And so I'm definitely worried about literally not being able to treat people. Like, especially right now. We have actually no immunity boosting stuff on us. And I'm just trying to put together the money for food. And then once we have resolved our food situation a little bit further, we can go to... Um, we can go to the field. Okay. Don't need to be in there. We can go to the field, and then we can put together some herbs. Oh, I broke my lockpick, apparently. Then maybe we can help more people. It does feel awfully selfish to say, but, like, I gotta secure my own mask here, you know? Oh, hey there, Captain Plagueman. He clearly wants assistance, and I do, like, I feel really bad. Walking toward me with their hands outstretched and stuff. Feel, I feel bad. I'm probably not safe to just stand here in my inventory. Yeah, we need to leave the plagued up part of town probably uh, pretty immediately. That's fine. We're close to the field. I am moving in the right direction, right? Yeah, more or less. Oof. This is bad, though. Just keep sprinting. Just never stop running. Yes, there is an end to plague soon, near us. Okay, fresh air. Being near the fires does seem to help a little bit. Like, immediately. I'm also going to drink from that bottle of water. Okay. The immunity is poor, and I have the, uh, the indications of that on my screen. Like, we made it away, though. So now we need to go to the shady shop pretty immediately to acquire food. And then we're going to have to sleep again soon. Uh, I think I started talking about something. I wanted to talk a little bit about the game as a whole. I want to make my thoughts on this a little bit clearer. I, ha I have been thinking about it. Um, when I sit down to a recording session, I have, like, a real excitement to get into Outer Wilds. I'm going, like, Outer Wilds is awesome. Outer Wilds is a great game. And I'm, I'm very eager to play it every day. And then, uh, after Outer Wilds, we have Thea. And Thea is a strategy game, and as such, is basically a big math problem. And that is also a very exciting time for me, because that's the kind of nerd I am. Uh, let's try to get some good food here. So hold on, what does this guy want? I know we have a use for a straight razor, so maybe we shouldn't sell that. The button, on the other hand, I doubt we have any use. Oh, hold on. I'll talk to you in a second here. Um, did that actually open? Yes, inside the first package there was a chalk and another package, it looked like. That's weird. Uh, okay. Food. So yeah, the, the, where I'm going with this, and it's probably pretty obvious, is that I am not excited, exactly, to play this game. Uh, I'm actually pretty stressed about the idea. I have a sense of, like, real dread. Oh, there was an apple in one of those packages, too. That's great. Uh, yeah, I have a sense of, like, pretty real dread about <laughs> about sitting down to play this. But I want to be clear that it's not like... I'm not... I don't hate the experience. I'm not like, oh, man, that game, I have to play that fucking thing again, right? Um, but it's, it's like, is this the day where I'm going to die? Is this the day where I'm going to fail to fail to take care of all the things I need to be taking care of? Is this 
is this the one where everything is going to go wrong? And partially it's, you know, uh, performance anxiety and I'm going to look like an idiot in front of everybody. But also partially it's just like the game is doing a really good job instilling a sense of like fear about everything that's happening. We're very close on this. I need to give him eight coins more worth of loot. I mean, I could just give him some of these bloody bandages because we don't have a lot of other uses for him. I'll give him one of the fishing hooks. Okay, we have acquired a significant amount of food. Let us consume it. Uh, so basically, the point I'm making, really, is just that it's working. Like, the game is totally having the effect I think it was intended to have on me. I am stressed and scared just by the idea of <laughs> launching the game, basically. And it's an experience I don't get from video games a lot. I think that if you think about games... There's no way to say this that's not going to sound insulting, so please uh, <laughs> listen all the way to the end before you get upset with me. If you think about video games in a pretty shallow way, like in a pretty simple way, it seems like a, obviously games should be fun, right? So when I say that I'm happy to play a game that I don't think is fun, maybe that sounds kind of weird or, or kind of dumb. But I'm not, I'm not having a good time in this game. I am not. But I'm really enjoying that. I'm like, I've, I'm valuing that experience. What is up with these? Is one of these guys... No, they're both whatever the species is that takes us around the river. Hey there, dudes. What's your deal? For you, Emshin. Heart, liver, kidneys. They still smell of life. Uh, sorry, where did you get these? You've killed someone and cut them open. Is that so? Make potions as your father. Cures from grief, poison, envy, aches. He made any cure when he had good meat. This is good meat. Take it. Uh, only a menku can cut a body. Is there a menku among you? No, Yagachin. We have broken the law. Those who do not know the lines cannot cut bodies. We will give our lives, my menkuse. No others. Okay, wow, that's um very noble and self-sacrificing. Assuming you took these from a person who was already dead. You do need these, Yagachin. Real potions have meat. Herbs have borders. Your great father used more than herbs. He made cures from blood and flesh. From those alive. So then they did not probably take these from a corpse. What kind of cures are these? Any kind. Cures for pain. Cures for fever. Cures for the inner fire. Cures for all three layers of the body. Those who know the lines can cure any disease with guts and herbs. This is how the world works. Is it? Really? Is that? Are you sure? Uh, how do you know about the three layers? Skin, blood, thin threads. Your father treated with those. Nerves. Those threads are called nerves. This is a creepy interaction. These are a gift, so you don't risk your life. Don't cut the living unless there is need. Don't cut the dead unless there is need. Even if you're a good minku, Bodo does not like it. Better we suffer than you. Okay, well... Listen, if my medicine needs organs, I'll get them myself. Remember that and tell the others. I think these guys seem to have done like a, a pretty self-sacrificing thing here. They believe that they are paying the price instead of me having to pay the price for a thing that must be done, and I really do appreciate that. But don't do it again, please. Oh, the day is over. Today was a turning point. If you want to protect someone, take care of them before nightfall. Fates are decided at midnight. Infected over the past 24 hours, 343 people. And you failed to protect the crude sprawl from infection. Uh-oh. Oh. That's probably really bad. Anna? Okay. We kept Anna safe. Yeah, this is where it's going to get really ugly, huh? Oh no! That was a really bad roll! Okay, so once they're infected, they're just going to die very quickly, right? That's my understanding of the Sand Plague. Uh, we possibly can work out a cure. We're not, we're not guaranteed to be able to work out a cure, but it seems like a pretty high priority to me. So, we need to go to... 
We need to go to every person who is who is listed as in danger and try to inoculate them against the infection every day. Time it seems like. Waits no more. We gotta... It isn't you fly. Each day is followed by a shorter night. And each night by a yet shorter day. Are you sure you about that? That doesn't sound right. Than you think. I don't know, man. I feel like the end's real close. Okay, hold on. I want to go this way. So we want to go out to the place where there are herbs, and also it wouldn't hurt to swing by the graveyard and see what's up with Grace, because Grace is on the list, right? Our immunity is in really poor shape, so we need to get a bunch of herbs, we gotta take them back to the lab, we gotta make ourselves some tinctures, we gotta take some, we gotta give some to, um, to what's his name? Sticky? <laughs> hold on, what is that child called? Yeah, Sticky. That's that's the name of a human person that we know. Cause it, I would feel really bad if Sticky died. He is he has entrusted himself a hundred percent to our care. But yeah, like what I was saying, like this this is interesting. I'm into this. I am nervous playing it. I'm nervous the entire time, but I, I'm into it. I'm, I'm digging the experience. You know, my qualms about the the dialogue even taken into account. Okay, she didn't want to talk to me. That's fine, she's doing her thing, even though I told her not to do that thing. Well, I have no ability to stop her, because she won't talk to me. So, whatever. I suspect we're not going to find a lot of usable herbs actually in the graveyard, so maybe we should, um... Oh, no, never mind. We totally are. God, I really appreciate that they're doing the sparklies, like you know, represent the fact that our character is better at looking for the herbs than I, the player, am. Because it would be such a pain in the ass to have to actually, like, just walk around with our face against the ground, looking at every plant. Alright, so we found the herbs the densest when we were pretty far out. We're gonna need a lot. Yeah, I think I like and maybe I'm maybe I'm hypersensitive to the issue because I have had people in actual conversation, people who I I like and think of as, as smart people with interesting things to say about games. I've had people scoff at me when <laughs> when I say that I don't think games need to be fun. I think this is becoming a less and less controversial opinion as games like mature a little bit as an art form, although you certainly are going to find people who are going to argue about whether or not that's actually occurring. Uh, and I think that I think that a lot, of, like a lot of your perception of whether it is occurring, is going to depend somewhat on the the spaces in gaming that you pay attention to. Because I think that it, it probably is the case that like AAA games are not really maturing. There's certainly uh, a lot of swearing and violence in them, but I don't think that that's the same thing. I don't think this kind of stuff that earns you an M for mature rating is the, the sort of maturing that I'm talking about. But then I feel like when I say that, I gotta also caveat that to say, like, I'm not I'm not saying those, those games are bad or they don't count, because I certainly play those sorts of games. I'm really, really looking forward to some extremely violent AAA experiences that are coming out in the next couple of months. Uh, if you like shooters, for real, look into what's going on with Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal looks like it's gonna be extremely good. Uh, okay, great. More herbs, more herbs. Just keep gathering herbs. Never stop gathering herbs. At some point, we're gonna have to go back and sleep. And the time lost to sleep is starting to feel like a real problem. A real imposition. My stupid human body and its stupid human body needs. I do not remember what herbs make what things. So this is... Okay, we're, we're getting closer to... There's this, like... I'm assuming a step people village on the map here that we might want to visit every everything we do costs time and we have so little time and it's so far away from everything what am I doing on inventory space we're getting a little close okay let me um try to clean things up quickly here so that we can Fill in these gaps in such a way. There we go. So now we have a lot of herb space over here, and I think that's about as tightly as things are going to get packed. Let's head over in this direction because we're out gathering herbs right now. We have the we have the time to do this a little bit. I'm just curious what's happening. What is? Oh, there it is. 
that's pretty weird and ominous. Okay, don't look up. The things that you're looking for are on the ground. Really glad that I went and filled up the water bottles. Although we have to be careful using the water, right? Because we need it for the tinctures as well. Maybe I'm wasting my time by coming out here. But, like I said, as long as we're also gathering herbs at the same time, it's not much of a cost. Shechem, a place of old. I don't know if we have a reputation bar for this place. I don't think I've seen the name of it before. Uh, by the way, it seems like we're spending a lot more time in darkened places now, so please do let me know if, uh, if it's too dark to see. It seemed like people weren't, uh, weren't weren't having problems with the brightness levels before. But it, <laughs> I have a feeling the game's just going to get darker and darker. And I will absolutely turn it up if, uh, if it is necessary. I don't love how much uh, insect noise we're hearing. That makes me a little nervous. Insect noise is like a real... Is a classic video game move to use insect noise to rep represent sickness and danger, so... Okay, it seems like there are no people here. Maybe there once were? Is, there has to be somebody. That fire's burning. Somebody started the fire. Huh. This place is, like, absolutely loaded. And these are, these are not just... You notice how they're clustered? These are not just growing herbs. This is like a garden. So I guess I'm kind of robbing someone's garden. <laughs> I sort of feel bad about that. Let me refill that bottle. Okay, I'm getting pretty tired. It might be a good idea to head back. What are we doing on herbs? Oh, we got a lot of stuff. This has been productive. I was really hoping we could meet somebody out here, but... Well, let's just have a little bit more of a look around. I do, I do think if there's anybody out here, it would be useful to talk to them. Haven't seen a lootable herb in a minute. What am I looking at there? That's, okay, that's like off the map. I probably can't even get to that fire. All right, let's just head back. We've done some fine work here. We're going to have to sleep pretty soon. Oof. So, like, part of what brought this game to my attention was there's, a, there's a, like, a minor... I wouldn't even say it rises to the level of controversy, but there's some people talking about this game in relation to difficulty. Because uh, apparently the developers have been pretty reluctant to give any difficulty options to players, and a lot of people are not down with that. And I get it. This, like, I, like I'm saying, this experience is stressful. And it's not a lot of fun. And that's not a thing that everybody is interested in. Okay, my immunity is actually recovering remarkably quickly over time. That's good. That's a good thing to know. So, the fact that our immunity recovers over time, and I know I'm, I'm like, constantly breaking in and out of this line of thought with game mechanic stuff. Sorry, it's probably just going to be the nature of the beast in this series, because we have so much stuff to pay attention to so frequently. Um, but the fact that our immunity recovers a little bit over time means that we're probably not going to be as prone... Wait, is this, is this the graveyard? Okay, yeah, it just looks kind of weird on this side. Cemetery, rather. Um... It means it's going to be harder to get into a death spiral than I was afraid might be the case. Because if it were the case that our immunity did not recover naturally, uh, we could potentially get to a place where we are too weak to go into plague areas to loot, but also we don't have enough money or goods to afford uh, immunity boosters or food. And so like our only option would be to just wander out into the steps and slowly die as we gather herbs. But immunity recovers not, not only... Recovers for free, but recovers quite a bit. Death found himself a home in the crude sprawl. And I did not go there because I don't think that that story is a real thing. Hold on. Why have we... Hmm. Give me the option to hit L there. Oh, Aspidy is also in danger. Okay, that's a real 20 minutes from now kind of problem. I gotta go and make myself some tinctures. And then we can go pass him around. We should try to save Aspidy. She was uh, she was extremely kind and decent to us 
in actually handing over that inheritance instead of keeping it for herself, because there's a lot of money in that pouch. And am I already starving again? You have to eat so much in this game. It's probably not even... I haven't been paying enough attention to know. But it's probably not even that much food relative to the amount of time. Like, if you think about what a real... In real life, a person has to eat. But it's a lot more than you generally have to eat in video games. Oh yeah, so people are, people are talking about this game in relation to difficulty. And the developers are adding, or maybe at this point already have added, difficulty sliders. And I think that's a... It's a fine thing to do. I think it would have been okay to stay at their ground on just making it a, an experience that is completely inaccessible to some people. But I also think that um, putting in the sliders is fine. So we mostly got red and brown twire. We're going to be able to make a lot of Yas tinctures, and that's fine. Um, it's we, we need different tinctures for diagnostic purposes, but we don't really need different tinctures for the purpose of just boosting immunity, right? So let's make some of this and some of that. And do one more of these, and then I don't actually know what we get when we mix Swevery with all the different types of... Okay, so that makes yellow, and now we're out of water. Well, it costs us immunity even to just walk outside, but let's, let's hit uh, the kid with some of it first. All right, we did not brew any pluses. Oh no, we totally did. In fact, all of the yellows. We brewed our pluses. Okay, did what we could. I'm going to take one of these myself. Interesting that the liquid tinctures which are made with water don't actually uh, reduce your thirst. Not that it's a big deal. Huh, no empty bottles. I don't think I had noticed that before. But when you drink a tincture out of a bottle, the bottle just disappears. You can't rinse it out and use it again. That's a problem. That's concerning. Okay. Well, we still have this. Eat that. And then, I mean, I gotta sleep. I think we should sleep now while we're here. That's the sensible thing to do. May as well save as well. Hey, you know, you could say, like... Oh, wait, something's happening. Okay. Listen, our character's, uh... He's not getting a lot of loving, is my my read of the situation. I could see why a man might have a dream like this, although he's, uh... It's getting a little strange. What do you think? We, we don't need a full sleep. Let's do four hours. See if it'll actually let me do that. Yeah, it, it's easy to say, well, if the developers have a particular vision, they shouldn't compromise on it. You know, it doesn't have to be the case that every game is for every everyone. Joke is one joke away from being a goner. But you should always be wary of saying that when you're saying... Games don't... Every game... Not every game has to be for everyone. About a game that you do think is for you. Because I think that uh, <laughs> clouds your perspective slightly. So what do you think? Do we, could we go back to the Shady Shop? My concern with the Shady Shop is that we've uh, we've hit it a bunch recently and it might, it, it clearly was not replenishing food. It might be the case that every shop gets new food every day and we've moved over to a new day now so maybe we could, uh, maybe we could take advantage of this. But I think I'm going to try to go to the grocery shop that we haven't been using. Oh, my boots just broke. Well, that's inconvenient. Yeah, let's go give an immunity booster to our friend. I can't believe that they actually did want me to go through with that. Finding the house that death lives in, or the death is staying in thing. That's kind of, that seems very silly to me. Okay, it's this building over here. Then again, we know there are, there are functional super ele supernatural elements in the game. We know that stuff is real relative to the world of the game. There it is. Okay. Where the hell is the door? Buildings need to have doors on more sides. The building only has one door and it's pointed away from the entire town. 
Alright, where are you at? Hopefully not too deep in here, because I have a lot of things to do. Like, find food. Like, find food immediately. I mean, I'm absolutely willing to just loot the place. Day 4, in which the theater observes a fallout. So yeah, we did not make it to the theater for the pantomime. And who knows, maybe we'll be, like, real sad about that. Okay, we're having lots and lots of thoughts at this moment. Oh, there you are. You are so creepy. Here, take this. Try not to die. This is this is the best one I got. For you, because I love you. Because we are good friends. In the sense that you are useful to me. How do I leave your home? Wait, this is not the right room. Hunger becoming an urgent concern. Okay, the store! To the, the grocery store, okay. Yeah, with the bottle just disappearing when you use it for medicine, uh, our situation is considerably more dire than I thought. I thought we were going to be able to... Um, lots of scary noises happening here. Give medicine. Oh, man. Shit. I'm sorry, lady. I'm sorry. I really don't think we can afford to do that. Especially not with me as hungry as I am. Like, I think we're, we're um, probably going to start seeing a serious impact on our health. Probably soon. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it's this building here. I'm sure that helping people who are actually sick laying on the ground like that would be great for our reputation in the area. I just can't. I just don't. Situation's a little bit dire. We're maybe gonna die this episode, like I said. Okay, so if we if we can get some food here, which we maybe can do, we definitely have more stuff. I don't know that we have a ton to trade, but we have more than we did. Okay, you do have lots of food. Uh, I would love to get some fresh meat. That looks really good, but I don't know that we're going to be able to afford it. Okay, peanuts are valuable. Walnuts are kind of valuable. The marbles are not so much. I think we're going to have to give up on the idea of ever repairing things, <laughs> probably. I need food desperately. Although we, we do have a contraption in our, uh, in our little lair that we're probably going to have to repair if we want to be able to make antibiotics. And we do probably want to be able to make antibiotics. I think this stuff is so valuable that we probably have to sell it. We can afford to hold on to it for use. Alright, let's start there. Uh, apple and Kashk. Yeah, it's not exactly amazing. There's no way we can afford that piece of meat, but we probably can get this, maybe? I give up my grindstone and uh, we really just we really just need to go into the infected part of town and loot. Well, we've gotten from her enough stuff that uh Oh Jesus Christ, scared the hell out of me. Governor Sabarov is calling for you. It's urgent. Yeah, everything's urgent. What's the matter? It appears your father's killer has been found. The inter interrogation is held at the rod. Uh Found again. You know, they found one before, and I'm pretty sure that guy wasn't actually guilty. I'll be right with you. I gotta, I gotta loot this building real fast. Actually, this part of town doesn't have the ash in the air, so I wonder if I'm allowed to... Uh, there he is. Oh, there he is? Where he is? Who's was talking. Somebody definitely just said, you, there he is. Wait, no. I didn't want to go outside. I wanted to go into a room and try to rob them. I will absolutely just loot, even if it says they'll know at this point. Like, okay, people are talking like they want to fight. At this point, I mean, no, I probably shouldn't. Uh, shouldn't do that, if only because uh, I need to preserve the scalpel for like actual medicine. Let me through. I think those guys are actually outside? It sounds like they're outside. And they're, like, seeing me through the wall. 
damn it, I keep... Mm. I keep thinking that that's going to be a room for some reason. I cannot remember the layout of this building. Well, let's go upstairs and see what is up up there. Actually, we have rooms to loot down here. See, I was thinking of this as the front door. Okay, soap is valuable. The soap probably helps with immunity, right? Ain't okay, nice. That's a significant amount of money. Got you. Oh, I didn't. Ha, didn't have my hands out. Wow, he did not react to me punching there at all. Okay, block? Not because I think I can block a knife strike. Oh, I'm not actually in the doorway. But because I need stamina. Boy, this dude is not giving up. Surrender, man. I'm going to kill you. Okay, come on. Let me... Let me loot him. I'm going to take all your stuff. And you can leave. I'm fine with you leaving now. I'm going to continue robbing this place while you stand there and watch me. Uh, Twyrine. Twyrine is very good. Do you want to maybe get out of the way, buddy? They really make this this part pretty long. They have a, they have a lot of time to loot people. And yet I still somehow manage to uh, fail at least once in the past. I wish I could tell him that he's cool to run. Like, he's literally he's in the I cannot move past him. There we go. Okay. All right. Put your put your fists away. You are slower at running with them out. Hey. Oh, okay. You're a guy who is actually totally cool. You do not want any of my stuff, though. Up there is a guy who has surrendered. I can't tell. He looked like he was the same guy, but I don't know. Ah, uh, man. We only have one lockpick. Let's save it for a situation that might be more obviously important. Okay, well, I mean, that was some decent looting. We got some valuable stuff. I also got stabbed a bunch of times. This is not ideal. Alright. Uh, where am I going? Which is the thought here? Sabrov seized father's murderer up there. Okay, so forward a little bit, turn right past this building. Okay, I mean, this district looks a lot better today. Maybe all of the people who were infected died? There are a lot of dead people, right? Like, we know that. We were told that. Oh, empty. Water's gonna start getting more scarce too, I guess. Shoot. What about this thing? Broken. Can't fix it. Yeah, this is this is gonna start getting to be a uh, a much more difficult experience, I guess. Well, let's uh, let's let's report to this thing, and then we're gonna get closer to some other shops here, some shops that we haven't taken out, or some shops where I haven't bought all of the inventory out already. I'm getting really concerned. All right, you guys, do you have anything to trade? Any food? Do you actually want any of my stuff? Nobody wants anything but lockpicks right now. Yeah, wow. Why, why doesn't anybody want, like, pills or medicine or anything? It seems it seems wild to me that people would uh, disregard medicine in a situation like this so cavalierly. All right, what is going on in here? I suspect that I'm going to be unhappy with the outcome of this event. It's just a feeling I have. Okay. You can't look straight at the sun or at death without flinching. Who's saying was that? Nobody's. Nobody's ever said that before. Ah, Barak, as you can see, we're making progress with your case. There's plenty of evidence against him. Yeah, what evidence? Solid evidence. Would you like to speak with him yourself? Uh, seriously, what evidence? He was with Isidore the night of the murder. He followed your father through the steppe at night. They were seen together. 
His story doesn't add up. Is that enough? I'm not an investigator, I'm the head of a house. And in these strange, strange times, the governor of this mad circus. So who is the investigator then? In times like these, we can't get bogged down with investigations and hearings. Okay. <laughs> they couldn't be broadcasting this is the bad guy any harder than they currently are. Throw him in prison. Let him stay there until things calm down. Okay, hold on. I want to speak to him first. If it is actually the case that he knew our father. I know you, Yogachin. May Mother Bado caress your step. You're my salvation. You know the lines and can tell lies from truth. Look into my eyes. I did not kill your father. Okay, talk to me. Do not hold anything back. It's like really important for you that you not hold anything back. What happened? On the eve of their deaths, your father and Simon Kane went out into the steppe. They dug a hole in secret. I witnessed this and told Taichik, the termitary, ah uh, yeah, the termitary overseer. I should have gone to Foreman Oyun, of course. He was a friend to your father. What makes you think going to Foreman Oyun would have been better? They were friends. Oyun would have gone to your father and resolved the problem face to face, in private, to avoid trouble. But Taichik, he flew into a rage. Remember how he never had much love for your father? Uh, I don't. What next? Do you know the lines? Perhaps not, but your father did. I don't believe he meant evil, but the elders, they ran after them into the steppe. That's what I did, Yagachin. You may judge me now. That's all? That's not a betrayal. It is betrayal. Uh, okay. Look, maybe. I'm not gonna argue with this about- or argue with you about this, but I don't need a traitor, I need a murderer. Like, this is- this is clearly not the dude. Okay, obviously we know about the disease. Stepman informed the people who did not- informed people who did not need to know of Father's actions. Um, I'm still not 100% clear why anybody would have been upset about that. There's a little bit more information yet for us to gather. Uh, we still don't know who the Odurg is. We still know we know that step people meet at Saba's place after dark. We should probably look into that. Oh, they left me a list. Yeah, we're still working on that. Kids gather at the station. Hear the earth crumble, find the source, and stand still. She will show her roots to the patient. You know what? So it's not actually trees, necessarily. It's just a place where the grumbling is happening. But man, I can't afford to stand still. We have so many places to be. So we need a toolkit still. Do we have any sense? Do we have any sense of where the toolkit might be? No. Alright, we better go in the direction of the theater, because I could really use a little bit of that funding right about now. But first, we need to swing by the grocery store. I don't have any food left over, do I? The raisins aren't real food. Ugh, man. So that grocery store was... No, it's the other way. We don't have any fingernails, right? So I couldn't use the, um, the boats. God, I desperately need food. Why doesn't anybody want any of the stuff I have? Oh, man, do I not have time for this right now? I can't... What on earth is happening right now? Okay. Our stamina. I'm hoping that helping this guy in this fight is going to be good for our reputation in the area. But also, I don't really have, like... Okay, well, this is the grocery. You get him. I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> you got it under control. I trust you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I don't know that we're going to be able to buy any food, though. I don't know how we're going to have money to buy food. The food slider, the, the, food, uh, the food meter, really does empty very quickly. Okay, what of mine do you value? Oh, the pills. The pills are now, all of a sudden, extremely valuable. Also, for some reason, the raisins? Yeah, they have a weird valuation of items here. I'm not going to complain about it, though. Twyrine? Raisins. You can absolutely have all my raisins. I need pemmican. I need this apple. We'll, we'll talk about the milk. I'll definitely sell you the soap. I mean, I hate to give up pills. The pills are very, 
very valuable to us in a bunch of ways, but I also think we need to. We could, uh, let's give up the grindstone. We could give up our scalpel. And we could give them both these chisels, that's fine. Uh, the marbles aren't really worth anything. I hate to do this, but I think we're going to have to sell the pills. Okay, what do you think? Bone or nerves? Which one's less valuable? I'm going to do this. And then we are immediately going to eat. See, I've been extremely cavalier about our uh, thirst meter so far. I did not realize what a problem the thirst meter was going to become. Okay, we like... We're not in great shape, but we're not starving anymore. Is that fight still happening? Nope, looks resolved. Alright, where are we going? We need to cross the bridge here or cross down there. Who's on my danger list right now? Understamatin, Notkin, and Peter are infected. I don't know if we can do anything for them. So it doesn't really matter which way we go. Arbitrarily, I will decide to uh, go west. Hard to know, unfortunately, um, which direction or in which direction we might encounter more useful stuff. Oh, they're both... Okay, I'm going to try... Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to run. I don't have any stamina. Oh, wow, I can't see anything. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, there's nothing I can do there. So sometimes when people hit you, they spin you around. I don't think that that's happened to us a lot before. It definitely happened while I was trying to run away from them. So I'm probably actually dead now, huh? This looks like I actually died. The fence is as guilty as the thief. That's not correct. That's not how fences work. Is it my line now? Oh yes, you're right. Here I go. Go back, my friend. The door is over there. How did I get here? Oh, no, no. Wrong line. Let's try again. I was dead. I, I was dead. And then, death is never quick. Understanding is a process. Unpleasant, but unavoidable. What is but a moment for an external observer might feel like a day inside, or a week, or, if you're particularly unlucky, a year. Okay. Is this it? Can I go now? Oh, but nothing is over yet. Although it's in your interest to make sure your first death experience, henceforth simply death, is also your last. Yeah, I agree with you. But I suppose I'll ask why anyway. As a director of our theater, I will now inform you of the most important pillar of your role, silence in the audience. So, with each death of a new actor, we will all face irreversible consequences. Got it? Irreversible. Uh, such as? Well, any actor who continues Barak's path in place of the previous Barak will have it harder than their predecessor. Such is the theater of cruelty. Each death makes the role harder. You will become burdened with the consequences of your predecessor's deaths, their negligence. What sort of consequences? Unpleasant and painful. You won't be able to make a step without a drink of water. How's that? What about being unable to touch a close one? Or growing as weak as a five-year-old child? Your life force has already dwindled, and it will keep dwindling with each consequent death. Each and every one of them. Okay. Um. Why? Why are you doing this? I warned you. Each new attempt will be harder. When one actor dies, the next finds themselves even closer to the abyss. Try to finish this piece in one go. You, personally, so that no one has to replace you. Have pity on your successor. Uh, yeah, I'll touch clocks more often from now on. Forewarned is forearmed. Didn't I make it clear enough that clocks won't help you? A clock is just a point from which a successor begins. But they still carry their predecessor's mistakes. Else we'd never solve this riddle. By which you mean... I'll explain it to your successors if you fail. 
Clearly, those will be beyond help anyway, those third-rate phonies. So I'll have to spell everything out to them. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, you're a curious person. You make me regret that I'm a surgeon and not a psychiatrist. Okay, so we died. Um, what I learned there is that there's... It's, first of all, it's kind of hard to tell from a distance whether people will want to murder me or not. Like, that guy had his back turned to me, so I was running toward him to trade. But obviously, that's not, uh, not going to be an option all the time. Uh, but also, if we're running places just to try to be fast, so that I don't, like, starve to death while moving, um, we're going to find ourselves without the ability to start running a lot, right? Our, our stamina is going to be low. And so in a situation like that, I've had, like, literally no recourse. There's nothing I could have done there. I suppose one thing I could have done there is have bought the revolver earlier. I didn't really realize quite how uh, quite how fighty things were going to get. So maybe we want to stay off the roads? Hold on. Did I... Did I save after talking to that guy? I'm not even sure if we... Do, like, have we lost progress since our last save? I'm not really clear on what happened here. Okay, talk to me. Don't hold anything. We're just gonna... Um, completely recreate our conversation here. It's not a betrayal. Okay, so we did that. Yes, yeah, so it does seem to have just wound us back to the save. Which is not great, because it means that we need to go buy that food again. And then maybe we're going to take the northern bridge this time. I will say it's a little frustrating that... Um, that my reputation being not negative in this area doesn't mean that we don't get attacked here. Right, like, what is the point of the reputation meter if keeping it above negative doesn't prevent negative consequences? It might be affecting our shop prices or something. It's, it's very hard to know. One of the downsides of the game uh, being intentionally cryptic is that you know, we don't know lots of stuff. All right, let's see if we can recreate that deal. I don't remember exactly what we sold. We sold one of the things, the pills. The Twirinds definitely got to go. The grindstone, the raisins. I know I'm not actually using the matches. Maybe we should just sell them if I'm not going to use them. I don't know. She does have another piece of apple. And given our thirst situation, I probably want this as well. We would need to make 102 more coins. Like we could sell a bunch of the herbs, but they don't really sell for very much. In enough bulk, that'll work. I don't know that I could put together 102, though. I'd ha we'd have to sell the scalpel, pretty much. Or the other pills. I'm going to try to avoid doing either of those things. Right, let's just eat a little bit here and try to make it to the place. So we don't know exactly what the consequence for dying was. We know that he he was telling us that things have gotten more difficult. But that's it. That's all we have. There are people down the street there. I'm going to assume that those are, if not exactly the same people, then at least people who are similar in, uh, in desire. We can see a fist fight happening down the road. Uh-oh. Just step aside there. Okay, so kind of a good news, bad news situation here. Peter Stamaton... Okay. Oh, I think what it was showing us is that Yulia is now in danger when she wasn't before. This is her place over here, right? Okay, not getting involved. It says on the map that this is her place. This is not a place we've actually ever seen her. She's always been over at the old Gimskis, but... Hopefully she'll be here when we go inside, because I would love to give her some stuff, and I would also love to steal everything that is in her house. You know, I'm a giver, but I'm also a taker. Okay, this is weird. This just takes us back outside. I mean, we can... I'm not too worried about my immunity level. We have enough uh, tinctures on us. I don't think we have to be concerned about that. Okay, here you are. 
Uh, how would you like some Yas tincture? Well, better than 50%. Sadly, best we can do. Alright, so we're headed. You hear a baby crying. Uh, did you guys kill that guy? Yep. Okay, just thought I had to take a quick look. Alright, let's respond to the sound of the baby crying. I am so thirsty. I don't know how we're going to resolve the thirst if all of the things that used to give us water are broken now. I we're just gonna we're gonna have to put the stuff together to repair one, I guess. Okay, an empty bottle is extremely welcome. Very useful. I thought that we had really done a great thing by going out and gathering so many herbs, but really bottlenecked by the bottles. Sounds like the baby's upstairs. Here, maybe? Yeah, uh... It's throw yourself hi. in the river, brick yourself in the basement, or get sandboxed. Why are you looking at me like that? What on earth are you trying to express, lady? Ugh, the little rat is crying. Will you help me carry it? Just remember, it's mine. I found it. What did you find? An order came from the sandbox. Anyone who saves a baby from a plaguehouse gets their sins absolved. Easy, right? If only you saw how many bastards were brought. But I have a witness now. Perfect. Can you help me carry it? What, what is the sandbox? Are you from another planet? The town hall. Ah, are you considering adoption? Are you mad? Look, I adore children, just not so much touching them. Yes, we know that about you. I thought I could bear it, but... Uh, so will you help me carry it or not? Fine, I'll carry it. Just stay out of my way. You don't deserve absolution, I've decided. This is utterly unfair. I walked into a plague house. I showed courage. This is what they promised to reward. Not touching them. I mean, you said delivering a plague baby, right? Like taking the plague baby out, or taking a baby out of a plague house. How are you going to do that without touching them? All right, I'll carry the baby. You just get the hell out of here and don't break into people's houses. I picked up this baby and immediately dropped it. That is a living human child. It feels so strange to carry a baby like an item, but now isn't the time to be sentimental. I was just thinking, hey, that seems strange. Okay, excellent stuff. We need to loot this house as thoroughly as possible, as quickly as possible. We have a lot of places to be. And a lot of things to do. Oh, this is lovely. Candle stub. We have a needle now, so we could... I might just hold on to it and sell it, honestly. It doesn't seem all that common for... Ah, okay, let's use it. Okay, we won big on that one. $327. It's awesome. Yeah, it doesn't seem... Oh, no. Okay. Plague Cloud. Shoot. Well, now we have an infection meter. I'm going to restore a little bit of immunity. But we have definitely become slightly infected. But that Plague Cloud kind of jumped me out of nowhere, huh? Right, I'm just going to pick one of these locks. This system is kind of interesting. I'm just going to close that then. And nope, that's not going to work. Okay. Oh, I've just keeled over. Did I just... Did I just die a second time? Is that... Uh, oh. I don't think that that was supposed... Listen, a lot of weird stuff happens in the game, but I don't think that, that child was supposed to be sinking through the ground there. You got yourself infected with sand pests, Cub. Our dogs found you. Did I faint? Yeah, you were lying down, not moving at all, like a corpse. That is a spot-on description of my overall condition. Here, have an immunity pill so that you don't faint anymore, alright? Notkin gave us some, but you need it more. It suppresses all kinds of diseases. It also tingles on your tongue. What about you, though? 
We're small. A single pill can last me a day. But I'm actually very healthy. My belly never even aches. You do look like a healthy lad. Okay. So, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and use that. What? Uh... Yeah, this is very creepy. Abiding and watchful is wisdom. Let the outlandish life dwell within you, and you will unearth answers. Is this not the task of a healer? Maybe? Maybe this is the task of a healer? I feel like that could have been subtitled. Right, like I have the subtitles on for a reason. Um, so we got moved pretty far across town, outside of a grocery, so we should probably, like, you know, hit this, because I'm very hungry. We also really, like, we desperately need to find a functional water source. So apparently you just keel over. I don't know if that was, like, we keeled over because we got infected a little bit for the first time. If that always happens whenever you take infection on. Um, or if it's just that, like being infected at all gives you a small chance per X time to to be afflicted, to be affected by your affliction, you know. Hard to know. Hard to know how things work. Uh, and now we're like, boy, it sure would be cool to eat a fish, but also can I afford to have my throat feel dry? Okay. Do we have anything that really sells... I mean, I'm going to sell this. We'll sell that. What I would love to do is to buy both of these if we could if we could get that hooked up. Probably we will not be able to do that, is my guess. I don't think we need this candle stub. We're close-ish. I think we're going to have to do without the fish. Yeah, as much as I hate to leave that behind. I don't think we can afford it, and I don't think we can afford the loss of, uh... I don't think we can afford to pay the thirst meter either. Is that? No, that's not Nopkin. It is a child. A child who has a smoked fish, but who only wants to play with matches. Well, that would be very irresponsible of me. Hold on, we can talk to you, though. We're working, we're working. It'll be done soon. You'll like it. Uh, what will be done? The thing we're making will help you a bunch. Come to Notkin's castle and see for yourself. But for now, it's a secret. A surprise. I don't really like surprises. <laughs> this game has made me very surprise-averse. Okay, uh, this kid wants marbles, and these are things that are actually valuable. Okay, so we do like this? I think this is a pretty good trade. I have definite uses for these things. Oh, getting a little bit of a Dutch angle on the background now. Sister Step holds some herbs in her bosom. Others she grants to us. Then there are special herbs. The ones in the marble nest itself. The marble nest? In the town. White Whip is a bitter herb. It splits open the ground in infected districts. Ashen Swish grows wherever swishing is heard. Like the singing of sharpened knives. It can be found in districts where blood is shed. Oh. That's useful information. Thank you. Do you want to trade? Ooh. Oh, and she actually values the tinctures. Oh, man. But the bottles, man. <laughs> like, we could trade a tincture plus both of our matches for this pemmican. I think we have to. Uh, that one. Yeah, like, I have to eat. What do I do with this baby? I don't think... Did I ask Anna where she was supposed to take the baby? Oh, thank Christ. Water. Sweet, sweet water. Okay, now we can actually let our stamina recover all the way. That's lovely. But we're gonna need a cure. I feel a little bit... I feel a little bit like us getting infected wasn't my fault. Like, obviously it's not great to uh, let your immunity meter get super low. But the cloud that infected us literally seemed to spawn on top of us out of nowhere. I could not possibly have avoided it. 
Uh, nope, you don't want any of my stuff anyway. Maybe I should focus here. Let's just let's just get to the the event. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna worry about that later. Oh right, we have to go around the front side of this building, and there's no way back out of this yard, other than the way we came in. Okay, actually, am I allowed through the side door? Nope, side door is chained shut. So yeah, we get used to running around, but I, like, I'm going to have to be very careful about leaving our stamina low, because there are times when we're going to have to flee from half a dozen angered men. Driven mad and violent by plague? I'm not exactly sure what was wrong with them. They looked very different from the guys who were randomly attacking us before, but they also looked sick. I don't know. Hard to know. Hey there. We don't even have a proper hospital in town. Yeah, I was just thinking that is a big problem. I've come I've come to help. There must be something I can do, right? At times like these, reasonable folks stay at home. You probably should too, because this is where all the sick people are. Okay, I'll find a way to help on my own. And you? What are you up to? Me? It's a tough one, I suppose. I'm going to have to make a cure for the sand pest, and nobody else is going to do it. A cure? In these conditions? Don't you need, I don't know, special instruments? An army of chemists? The best we have is a kitchen stove. How do you hope to succeed? Hey, Pasteur and Coke worked in barns. Never stopped them. Well, this hunt for blood. I didn't say anything about blood, lady. Sounds dangerous, cub. Won't you just infect yourself? Promise me you'll be as careful as you can. If you need me, please ask. Thank you, Lara. You are the only one so far who has believed in me even a little bit. Will you drop by today? Uh, yes, sure. In an hour or so. Okay, send her home. You look have her be unhealthy. safe, and we'll go visit her. Where have you been? We're drowning in work. That's why I came. What do you need me to do? If the street screams are any indication, the sand plague is painful. These people need care. Dirty care. Prosecting the dead, studying infected organs, Denkovsky's orders. What else can be done? We try different older medicines, study their effects, but the supply is short. Right, so shouldn't we be making more medicine? Alright, genius, tell me, what's on your mind? Father knew how to make some stuff. Uh, he makes tissue with twire infusions. Your father knew many things, true. But he didn't have time to teach me, even though I was by his side all those years, sleeping on his floor like a dog. I tried my best, but, his wor uh, but this work requires a certain talent, like his. And you? You learned nothing from him. Who knows? Perhaps I did. Or perhaps I'm getting a lot of it secondhand. I was with him in the first outbreak. I know the Sand Plague. I'm no mystic, but it's some punishment from heaven, more complex than disease. To cure such an ill, one must be Isidore. But even he failed. Uh, so I'll just have to become him then. Who else would do it? Blah blah, empty words. Why are you always so arrogant? It always got under my skin. Uh, I'll follow the lines. No. And these are all adversarial, right? Father always said we should look for connections among things. That is how he made those mixtures. That is the least adversarial. You would need to become a teacher to accomplish that, but you chose to split away from your father. You're no Isidore, Cub. Uh, Cub. Why is everybody calling me Cub now? We'll see. We'll see. So, maybe I can help? What is the thought that I just had? If only I could remember his lessons. I only know an iota of what he did. So, yeah, we have the plan of making an actual cure, but we don't really have any idea of how to do that. Apparently it's going to involve blood. What was once a theater of comedy is now an anatomy theater. It was really a theater of tragedy. Each day will bring new jobs. For you and for us. You work here in the hospital. We crawl around houses looking for corpses. God knows which is worse. Uh, so you're an orderly then. So I am. At least while I'm wearing these rags. Such are our orders. Do these costumes really offer protection? I guess. 
I don't envy you working with the doomed and dead, but you will have some support. There, deep on the stage, to the left of you, is a closet, see? You'll find medicine inside, replenished every day. You're free to grab and use it. Okay, they're not doomed yet. On the stage, to the left of you. That one. Let's grab the medicine, and then it looks like we have some people to treat. Boy, not really a lot of medicine, huh? And I definitely wish I had sold the other pills. Alright, my friend. Let's just try to treat some people. Shoot, do we even bother diagnosing him? Like, I guess if it turns out... Yeah, alright. So it could be a nerve issue. I'm going to go ahead and give him... Should we give him ferromycinum when we don't know for sure that it's a nerve issue? The stuff is valuable. But... I have to imagine it's better to help people than not to. I'm going to... This is tough. This is tough. I should maybe not even have bothered to diagnose him. Okay, hold on. If I wasn't willing to give him the pills, it was wrong to diagnose him. But we also should not fall for the sunk cost fallacy. The fact that I gave him the diagnosis does not mean we should continue along the wrong path. This stuff is too valuable to chance, I think. I shouldn't have given him the, the medicine in the first place. That was a mistake. We are not going to continue the mistake. Okay. Nothing else for free, huh? It looks like there's not a clock in here either. And I hope we can save here. You want cub anymore, Burach. If you really plan to make that panacea of yours, do you, uh, do what you think is right. I'll cover for you. But the order from the town hall was clear. All doctors are to work at the hospital sharing their duties. You are to report daily and work, or else there will be consequences. Like what? You'll be removed from the pest fund lists and receive no monetary support. In my book, Cub, it's not about the money, but a clear conscience. Your duties as a doctor. Yeah, I'm not trying to slack off here. Also, I do need to get paid. We're short on painkillers. Can you brew more? Uh... What about medicine? Is the hospital not supplied? Where would we take it from? Medicine stores? All stocks are running low, since the train wasn't here on time. They'll requisition what they can. Denkovsky's in charge of that. But we need more right now. Okay, I'll try to find some. I'm at a loss. I've never seen a serious outbreak. And this... Well, was there really not a single recovery? Not a single one. Neither was there one five years ago. I don't know of any other such disease. Yeah, this does seem really bad. You want if, any more, Burach. Give painkillers to all living patients. Well, I can do... Mm, we don't have enough painkillers. So it said to all living patients. Again, mechanics unclear. Will we be rewarded for giving three of the four patients painkillers? This is the thing where we have to hit everybody in order for it to matter. Okay. No clock upstairs. I think we'll come back. If we can find some more morphine, we'll come back. Because right now we don't have enough, um... We don't have enough painkillers. And if we can't give them to everybody, it's possible that it's not worth giving them to anybody. Oh, hold on, this child wants to talk. Hey, uncle, can you fix the turner for us, please? It's close, over in the nutshell. Please, uh, the turner? What? Yeah, a turner. You know, the thing that turns on itself. Like, like, a windmill? Fix it, will you? Uh, maybe. Possibly. You know what I needed was even more things to do. Okay, so we need to deliver this baby to Town Hall, and also, that's where my payment for the day is. So we gotta do that as well. Alright, let's just run up to the Town Hall. We can save there. God, I am so happy. We found some water. I should probably be trying to trade with everybody that we walk past, right? In case somebody's willing to take some of our, uh, some of our garbage. It's like it's not going to actually be working out that way. I am running in the wrong direction. Go this way and turn right. Turn left. Getting all discombobulated. 
Alright, so we gotta make it to Town Hall in one piece. I think this probably is functional here. Oh, she would love a tourniquet. You give us a needle for it? I don't think that's a good trade. I do wish that my level of infection was not constantly up in the corner of the screen, because that makes me think that we're in, like, really dire straits. Maybe accurately. It probably is the case that any infection at all is really bad, given everything that we've been told about the infection. Okay, people in the backbone actually actively like us. What a weird change of pace. Alright, where am I relative to Town Hall? This is the Town Hall, so we just need to get inside the fence. Okay, somehow, when I keeled over from disease, I guess I did not drop the baby. You know what they say, that Artemy Barak, he's got an impressive grip. Probably that lady from the step is important, given that she's standing perfectly still outside the Town Hall, and we will totally go talk to her next episode. Right now we gotta you know, try to find a place to wrap things up cleanly here for the moment. Let's get paid first. That seems important. So the two icons are not exactly in the same place. I'm guessing that this is the direction we go to get paid. Or maybe not. Down here is just the prison area. Cannot interact with any of the doors. Okay, I guess this is just a dead end with no value. Also, he cannot speak to the bachelor across the table, even though he totally does want to talk to us. Challenge, the skill will follow in your hands. We need to set up the facilities. An isolation ward, a real hospital. We need control over corpse disposal. Tell me, how is it possible this town has never had a proper hospital? Don't women give birth here? Don't people get sick? I'm serious. Yeah, can I help? Is there something I can do? No, not now. Though, can you tell me what's going on with your water delivery system? Is it true the water's only for industrial purposes? Seriously. Why do you ask? Well, no reason. Hopefully those are only silly rumors. Forget it, Barack. I have a splitting headache. If you have no urgent business, then we'll talk later. Okay, fair enough. Good luck. Good luck, guy who's not helping me at all. Okay. You're a hero, you know that? How did you find it? Is it healthy? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not a pediatrician. Seems quiet and content, though. I'm not going to give Anna credit for this, because uh, this is selfish, but I really just, like, I need to be respected and liked in the town, because uh, I need to get not I need to not get attacked on the streets, first of all, and secondly, I need people to want to give me things. Give the baby. Okay. Big respect. Also... Wow, a considerable amount of money. Dr. Barak, right? Here's your allowance for today. No, don't say what allowance, you say thank you. Yesterday, the rulers have established the Fund for Outbreak Control. Until the centralized workings of the town's institutions can be restored, every acting doctor receives a daily allowance. The size of this allowance depends on the end results of your deeds. Today's portion is your advance. Okay, who exactly will be judging my results? Look, I'm just the messenger here. Such are the rules the rulers have decided upon. The money you receive is a budget for buying medicine and other supplies you'll need for working with the infection. The system should last us until a centralized distribution system gets arranged. Alright, so what's expected of me? First off, you have to attend to the hospital every day. It is housed in the building of the theater. Hospital attendance is mandatory and should be your highest priority. If you fail to complete your daily assignment, the fund will deny you payment for that day, including rewards for other activities. What other activities? Helping the infected in the streets? The ones stumbling around are beyond salvation, but if you see someone lying on the ground and shuddering, consider giving them a pill. Even the wrong antibiotic helps somewhat. Well, how do wrong pills help? They don't reduce infection. They provide care and hope. It's not just the plague that's killing the town, but the panic, too. If your pill doesn't help with the former, at least it alleviates the latter somewhat. 
although correctly administered antibiotics will be rewarded more generously. Okay, and of course, assisting Bachelor Dankovsky also helps. Great, what about the deranged girl? Am I supposed to assist her too? I have no instructions on that. All right, register man, anything else? Last but not least, the heads of the families, the Canes in particular, understand that the situation might require you to go beyond the norms of the law. Be warned, however, your good name across town uh, will also be taken into account when calculating your daily allowance. Yeah, all right, where do I sign? And take the money, it's in the cabinet. The final score is tallied at midnight, so the subsidy for yesterday will wait for you from midnight on. The fund works round the clock, so don't be shy. Okay, that's very helpful. Wow, that's a huge help, actually. Holy crap, that's valuable. Okay, well, I'm feeling a lot more sanguine about our chances of survival, at least. So I think this is where we are going to call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, hope. I have a little bit of hope now. Uh, we still need to acquire some uh, one more at least one more unit of morphine and distribute it to the patients in the hospital and then we need to find bottles i think that actually is our like, next most pressing concern is getting more bottles so come back next time monday for bottle hunting doesn't that sound exciting and we'll see you then